Tonight on the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror, it was just an innocent little prank that kind of turned rapey at the end, so yeah, they kind of deserve what they're getting here. Tonight's movie, Hell High. to another episode of the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror! Unshade from the Content Nazis! Episode number 28! Yes, 28! We are moving along! We are almost end. It is the home stretch. The finish line is in sight. And thank God because I am just dying. Coming off of last night's lower energy performance, uh, uh, from a movie that was fine, it was okay, it wasn't anything special, uh, I got the job done. That's sometimes that's all you can ask for in a movie. Terror on tour! I thought tonight, I think we should go back to high school. Yes, yes. And watch a movie called Hell High. Now, look, this movie has a lot of things in common with the other two high school movies I reviewed, Slaughter High and Hello, Mary Lou, Prom Night 2, in that they all involve pranks gone wrong with disastrous results, and then the victim of the prank, you would say, well, gets revenge by murdering people. Yes, so, now that you know the plot, let's get to those scores. No, anyways, Hell High. So what is Hell High all about? So, um, a young girl is playing in the swamp against her mother's wishes, by, mind you, when a young couple uh, on a motorcycle stop and uh, apparently invade her little secret shack that she likes to play house in. And uh, they want to, uh, well, the, the guy wants to do a little canoodling. Uh, but the woman's not feeling it. And so he's pissed off and takes one of the, the, the girl's dolls, you know, she's hiding while this is happening, and rips its head off while she's pissed off. So she grabs a bunch of mud. And as they're riding by on the motorcycle, she throws it in the guy's face. And that causes him to lose control of the bike and get into a horrible accident because in this swamp, we have to have random sharp poles and spikes that people can accidentally impale themselves on and die. And of course, this messes up her mind. She is traumatized by this experience. And uh, fast forward 18 years, she is now a biology student, uh, student biology teacher in this school. And uh, she's very, um, I guess you would say, pensive, and uh, she's taking medication for anxiety. And uh, one day she's having a biology exam, and she asks one of the hoodlums, I mean students, to uh, gather up the tests. And he gathers up the tests. He's kind of a class clown. His name is Dickens, which is very, uh, very fitting because he's a dick. My God, this guy, asshole material. <laughs> no question. Anyways, she's like, so I want you to file him. And he goes, okay, I'll file him. And he tosses him in the air, creates a big mess. And he goes, there you go, filed. And of course, she slaps him. Now, this is the 80s, mind you. That's when, when teachers and students could get away with a lot of shit in the 80s. Nowadays, the students and the teachers could not do the things that they were doing in this movie. But anyways... <laughs> And, of course, he is all pissed off. He's like, like I'm going to get you. And so he devises this scheme to uh, get a bunch of mud from the swamp because by this time the, the, the kids hear about this story about how these people died over there. And so they're going to play this prank on this, this poor teacher. Uh, of course, he's got to find out where she lives. So uh, after school, he waits for the teacher to leave, follows her to her house, and, of course... Well, while he's there, he might as well peep in her window and 
Of course, she decides to take a shower, and apparently her shower doesn't have any, like, curtains, and she doesn't close the bathroom door, so he gets a full show of her just lathering up, and, you know, apparently she's a lonely lady, and she <laughs> was having um, some fun in the shower. Anyways, and so this kind of, you know, piqued his interest, like, oh, man, she's actually got a body. But anyway, so back to his plan. Get a bunch of mud. Uh, along with his hoodlum friends, and uh, wear some Halloween masks, and basically terrorize her. And that's exactly what they do, except the, uh, the leader, Mr. Dickens, is not satisfied with just that. So apparently, uh, one of the teacher's friends from school comes over, finds out that she's all traumatized, and gives her a, some drugs. This is the best line, too, in this movie, where, where it's like, She's, she's going to give her some drugs, and, and she's like, uh, and she goes, no, no, don't worry, it's just Quaalude, all the kids are taking them. Yeah, because taking a, you know, controlled substance that all the kids are taking sounds perfectly safe, because we all know those high schoolers are the most responsible people and would never, never do anything dangerous like take illicit drugs. Never! Anyways, I know, I just, I found that funny. Anyway, so she's all hocked up on the Quaaludes, and so he comes back in, and he wants to um, fulfill the rest of his revenge, which is not just, you know, cause her to have a mental breakdown, but to rape her. Yeah, I, yeah, this guy, like I said, dick, gigantic asshole. So he's trying to, uh, one of the group decides to stop him, they get into a fight, and she kind of comes to and jumps out a window, and... They think she's dead, so they send they send one of the guys to go steal something from the head quarterback so that they can plant it there to make it look like he murdered her. But, of course, she's not dead, and now she's fucking insane and pissed off, and murder ensues. So, let's get to those scores, shall we? Violence and Gore, I am going to give it a 2 out of 5, because honestly, there's not a lot of violence, and it's all pretty much in the toward the end. And yeah, there is some nice head crushing with a with a rock, and some some stabby stabby, but not a lot. And um, the body count in this movie is very little, limited. So yeah, two out of five shock value, one out of five. There's a couple jumps in this movie. Other than that. Um, the fact that the guy wants to rape her, I guess, because, like, that's, like, the best prank. Whatever. I don't know. <laughs> One out of five. Nothing much else going on there. Uh, plot, two out of five. So this is where the movie, I have problems with this movie. Uh, it's, it's all build up. And then you have this, this, this ending that is just way too quick and not very satisfying. Um, there were things that could have been done with this movie. There's a lot of stuff that was part of the setup that could have been abbreviated, that could have been shortened. There are scenes that, that went too long, and they could have established everything they needed to establish. Um, like, for instance, uh, they, 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 they have scenes where um, the new guy to the group uh, is picking up uh, the, the girl of the group, and uh, she flashes her her tits at, which I know it, it establishes her as the the tease loose kind of kind of girl. I don't mind that, but they could have made that way quicker. Um, they 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 move like the, the whole thing like where where they're trying to they're 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 following her, uh, the teacher back to her house. They could have abbre abbreviated that whole thing. That took a little too long. Uh, the whole football game portion could have com been completely taken away. Uh, and then there's, there's this thing, there's this scene where uh, one of the guys you know, steals the, uh, the sweatshirt of the head quarterback while they're at a diner and they see him running off in the car, and they they go to chase him, and then we have like a chase scene. That all could have been eliminated. That all was 
completely unnecessary. They could have just had him steal it. And because, I mean, the chase, sure, adds a little bit of tension. But the, the, the meat of the movie is not that. The meat of the movie is the vengeance that happens at the end. And that just, just is over. Uh, they could have totally changed the beginning, buttoned it up, made it more snappy, and then have the final act be an awesome, glorious revenge. Unfortunately, they don't do that. And so you don't have a lot of time with that portion. So she kills these people just really quick. And there's, there, there, was an, there could have been an opportunity for a sadistic little game and cat and mouse. And there is also another part that I cannot forgive them for not being able to go into it. Uh, she ties up one of them and decides to dissect them like a frog. And she starts cutting in and she gets interrupted. Ah, see, that could have been ballsy and disgusting and awesome. But uh, anyway, so yeah, disappointing because a very slow wind up to a quick finish that kind of just putters out. And is unsatisfying in that situation. So two out of five. Uh, acting, I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five because look at it, that guy who plays the asshole Dick, Dick Dickens is really good. He really nails his role. Everyone else kind of are cliches and do a fine job. The teacher is a little. Uh, a little over the top in, in in some of her, you know, neurosis, but it's fine. But uh, finally, we get some really, really good performances. So three and a half out of five. Uh, nudity, I'm giving it a two out of five. That shower scene was definitely not a waste of time. <laughs> and yes, we get a brief shot of whoever plays the the uh, the other girl. Her body doubles boobs. We get to see hers, but anyways, uh, light them out, but satisfying two out of five. My enjoyment factor here is two and a half out of five because of what I said in the plot. It just, it just, I needed more and it would have been so awesome to do more with that final act, to do more with that vengeance at the end and, and, Really, because like the, the beginning, sure, you're getting information and you're you're getting some development with the characters and the situation, and you are creating threads that are being tied up for toward the end, which is all necessary stuff, but it could have just been done a lot more efficiently. You could have cut out some unnecessary stuff and had more time for the meat of the movie, which should be this vengeance, this this, I mean, this is your selling point, and you you kind of just drop the ball on it, and it just fizzles out, and is kind of unsatisfying at the end. So yeah, two and a half out of five. My overall impression is two and a half out of five. Just way too much setup, not enough payoff, disappointing. Yes, and that averages out to a two point two out of five. Look, the movie is still okay. The movie is entertaining. It's just once again one of those situations where they could have, they they could have made something much greater, and they for one reason or another maybe there was studio interference maybe MPAA interference I don't know but it could have been glorious instead it's just okay so there you have it Hell High what did you think leave a comment in the comment section have you seen Hell High tell me what you think am I right am I wrong. Do you not care? I don't know, but give me a thumbs up, whatever, subscribe, ding the bell, all that stuff. And this ends episode number 28, and I will see you next time on the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror. And until then, Internet, you stay scary. And remember, just, just don't do mean-spirited pranks. That's just, it's so immature. And... Honestly, you're going to fuck up somebody, and then they're going to come back, and then they're going to fucking kill you in a horrible way. Because that's just how it happens in Scary Movie Land. Okay? All right. Blah.